Welcome to Cross Culture New Mexico. I'm your host, Mark Tross. We are continuing our series about Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement in the New Covenant. And in Luke chapter 4, verses 16 through 22, Yeshua, which is his Hebrew name, which means salvation, we know him as Jesus, is called to the Torah in his local synagogue of Nazareth. After reading the powerful passage from Isaiah 61, he delivered a simple yet stunning message claiming to be the Messiah, which is Hebrew for the Christ, which is Greek for the Anointed One, who would set the captives free. Some of the classical rabbis believe this passage would be the very words Messiah would speak to Israel when he came, according to the lexicon of Rabbi, Rabbi David Kimchi, as quoted in a Manual of Christian Evidences for Jewish People, Volume 2, page 76. The fact that this passage speaks of the Messiah, the Christ, the Anointed One, as the liberator of the Jewish people led other rabbis to speculate that Messiah would appear on a very special Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement, in the year of Jubilee, according to Leviticus 25, verse 10. The world will endure not less than 85 Jubilees, and in the last Jubilee, the Messiah, son of David, will come, according to Talmud Sanhedrin 97b. Another interesting element is that this passage of Isaiah 61 is no longer read in the traditional one-year cycle of readings in the synagogue. Yet it is known that the first century service was based on a three-year cycle, which was much more expanded. Hence, Isaiah 61 might logically have been tied to a reading close in proximity, proximity namely Isaiah 58. Coincidentally, Isaiah 58 is the current synagogue reading for every Yom Kippur service, every day of atonement service. Such information has led some scholars to conclude not only that Yeshua, Jesus, was pre presenting a dramatic message about his messiahship, his kingship, his authorship, but that this event actually took place at a Yom Kippur service. Or Edersheim mentions this view by Bengal in Life and Times of Jesus the Messiah, Book 3, page 452. Not a bad time for Yeshua to publicly speak the words that Messiah was to speak to Israel. Next time we'll be covering the topic of Yom Kippur and the prophetic fulfillment. Be sure to check out our website, crossculturenm.weebly.com. Like and share our Facebook pages. Join us on other social media sites. And be sure to subscribe to this YouTube page, Cross Culture NM.